Hello everyone. Let us find the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. The trig ratios of 45 degree angle. We saw the trig ratios for sine 0 degrees, sine 90, cos 0 and cos 90 and subsequently we also found the trig ratio for tan 0 and tan 90. So this video talks about the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. This is a right angled uh, triangle. It's right angled here. Um, yeah, here. If you call this ABC, triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And we also know that in any triangle, whether right angle or any, any triangle, all the three angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, the sum of all the three angles is equal to 180 degrees. And now here we have that angle B is equal to 90 degree in any right angle triangle. So angle A plus angle C has to add up to 90 degrees. Now let us assume that angle C is 45 degrees because we are interested in finding uh, sine 45 and cos 45, the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. Now, if angle C, uh, let me write here, if angle C is equal to 45 degrees, do we know anything about angle A? Of course, yes. Angle A will also be equal to 45 degrees because only then they add up to 90 degrees. So, angle A and angle C are going to be equal to one another and both of them are going to be equal to 45 degrees. So what do we infer about this triangle? This triangle is going to be an isosceles triangle and uh, the side opposite to the equal angles is going to be equal that is the side BC, the length of the side BC and the length of the side AB will be equal to one another because angle A is equal to angle C, we will have AB, length of AB would be equal to length of BC, right? And what about the hypotenuse of this triangle? Do we know anything? Yeah, according to the Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse, the side which is across the 90 degree angle would be equal to, what does the Pythagoras theorem say if you say uh, the hypotenuse which is AC, AC squared would be equal to AB squared plus BC squared, right? So if we assume that this is of length A, if AB, the length of AB is equal to A, then the length of BC is also equal to A, isn't it? If A and length of BC also has to be equal to A. Now, what would be the length of the hypotenuse? We can easily find out. So, what we do for this purpose, let's take a fresh right angle triangle. Let us draw it here. Uh, this is a right angle triangle and we want a 45 degree angle. Uh, uh, yeah, both the angles now would be approximately equal to 45. But for our purposes, we will say that they are equal to 45. I feel, uh, let me turn this triangle uh, so that um, you have the base as the hypotenuse. Just that it's easy for us to uh, study the triangle. Sorry. Uh, is it perfect? Yeah okay now it's okay so what we have done is we've just turned the same right angle triangle this this we were talking about this triangle we've turned it so that the hypotenuse is the base of the triangle so let me put the same uh, ac would be the hypotenuse and b would be the right angle so this triangle is right angled at b and this is your hypotenuse AC and whatever we uh, noticed about this triangle was uh, since we assumed that both these angles are 45 degrees we came to know that AB the length AB is equal to the length BC that is these two lengths are equal to one another uh, so if you assume this to be A this is also A so what is AC AC would be equal to the square root of AB squared plus BC squared according to this Pythagoras theorem. So, the length AC would be equal to the square root of A squared plus A squared or it is equal to root of 2 A squared. So, the square root of 2 is just root 2 and square root of A squared is A. So, now we know the length of AC. It is root 2 A. 
Now let us find the trigonometric ratio since we know all the three sides in terms of A. It would be easy for us to find all these trigonometric ratios. So we just want sine of 45 degrees uh, which is defined sine of any angle as defined as the length of the opposite by the hypotenuse and what about uh, cos 45 degrees that is defined as the length of the adjacent by the hypotenuse. So, in this case both are 45 degrees and opposite and adjacent both would be equal to A. So, sin 45 and cos 45 both would can be written as A by root 2A and this is also equal to A by root 2A. So, sin 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 and cos 45 is also equal to 1 by root 2 because opposite by hypotenuse 1 by root 2 and this is adjacent by hypotenuse the length of the adjacent by hypotenuse it is equal to 1 by root 2. So now for our table which we were filling when we uh, arrived at uh, what is sin 0, sin 90 etc. So let us fill this table uh, for sin 45 and cos 45 we just discovered that uh, or we arrived at the value of sin 45 to be 1 by root 2 and cos 45 also to be 1 by root 2 and tan 45 how do we look at the tan of an angle it is defined as the opposite by the adjacent so it is equal to sin of 45 degrees divided by cos of 45 degrees so tan 45 degrees would be equal to 1 in this case because both are equal both sin 45 and cos 45 are equal so it is actually 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 so tan of 45 degrees is equal to 1. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.